The first film to spin out of Ubisoft's popular action-adventure franchise, Assassin's Creed has high aspirations. Director Justin Kurzel has reunited with the stars of his last project, 2015's Macbeth, to create a project that is just as serious, just as weighty, despite at its core being about the quest for a magical apple through advanced virtual reality. Though it's bolstered by some glorious action sequences and a stellar cast, the lack of any levity whatsoever in Assassin's Creed amounts to a soulless experience. It starts promisingly, with some succinct historical backstory outlining the nefarious Templars' ongoing efforts to retrieve the Apple of Eden and the Assassin's ongoing efforts to stop them. In the present day, we meet protagonist Callum, played by Michael Fassbender, trapped in the cool blue concrete walls of the mysterious Abstergo Foundation by Sophia Ricken, played by Marion Cotillard, and her father Alan, played by Jeremy Irons. Using cutting-edge VR tech called the Animus, the pair want to access the 500-year-old memories of Callum's ancestor Aguilar, an assassin who could lead them to the location of the fabled apple through his adventures during the Spanish Inquisition. It's nonsense, of course, but it's nonsense sold very seriously by Fassbender and Cotillard, both fiercely committed to their roles despite paper-thin characters. Callum is a blank canvas whose default state is a blunt, impenetrable anger that occasionally slips into loopy, I'm losing my mind melodrama. Fassbender keeps it mostly understated, but even he can't save the unintentional hilarity when Callum flips his lid and starts singing at the top of his lungs in tired shorthand for crazy. As a scientist with seemingly good intentions working within a morally murky company, Cotillard has a little more to sink her teeth into. She and the enigmatic Irons have the only interesting relationship in Assassin's Creed, their subtle push and pull over power, a playful change of pace from her one-note interactions with Callum, who bewilderingly accepts his predicament with very little question. It's a shame then that the rationale behind her po-faced quest to cure violence through the power of the apple is never given enough weight to feel credible. Elsewhere in the Foundation's facility, Michael Kenneth Williams, Callum Turner, and a handful of underutilized others are additional test subjects given nothing to play with bar muted hostility towards Callum, while Charlotte Rampling's real gravitas as Alan Rickon's superior is undermined by the criminally short amount of time she spends on screen. Character development may not be Assassin's Creed's strong suit then, but Kurzel has done a superb job at lifting the giddy, vertical action from the games and applying it credibly to screen. He's wisely discarded the Animus chair of the games and replaced it with a far more dynamic mechanical arm, allowing Fassbender to perform seriously impressive in-air gymnastics while in his virtual reality world, mirroring and blending with the action we see in 14th century Spain. Certainly, the Spanish Inquisition sequences in Assassin's Creed are its strong suit. Aguilar, also played by Fassbender, has even less to say than Callum, but it doesn't really matter when he's leaping between dusty Spanish rooftops, running across ropes, and diving off church spires. This is breathless, dizzyingly shot stuff that feels tapped directly into the vein of the game series. Characters here have a lot more fun too. Assassin Maria, played by Ariane Labed, has a steely resolve and panther-like physicality that makes her an excellent partner in crime for Aguilar. And Javier Gutierrez plays it delightfully sinister as leader of the Inquisition, Thomas de Torque Marder. As soon as it's back to the grim monotony of Callum and Co, however, any inkling of life dies. As Assassin's Creed struggles towards its conclusion and a nonsensical heel turn from a major character, one can't help but feel disappointed in a film that got the style of the series so right, yet its heart so wrong. For more on Assassin's Creed, stick with IGN. We work in the dark to serve the light. We are assassins.